Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. Do you guys notice anything new? Anything different? Special? About? Today's? Video? Maybe you've noticed there's been a change. I haven't gone for a whole entire month. That was really hard to not like sit down, film, or upload, edit, nothing for a whole month. The entire month of December, I did not upload to my YouTube channel. That was difficult, but I needed a break to rejuvenate myself, calm myself, and bring myself nice and positively into 2019. And we are here, and we are queer, and we are ready to do some shit. So, without further ado, let's get into it. As you guys might have noticed just now that there was no intro just then. Uh, I'm doing completely away with the intro theme to my YouTube channel. I just, I don't like it anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. So that's not happening anymore. So there's a lot of changes happening to my YouTube channel here in 20 by teen, the year of our Lord. So I got this new studio, lots of new lighting, no more intro. I just don't care for it. It's just a waste of time and space. I'm not a TV show. I'm a YouTuber. I'm an artist. This is what I'm doing. And if you don't like it, bitch, there's the fucking door. Jumping into the very first video of 2019, what I'm going to be doing is something that um, I kind of like threw out into the internet over the course of the last year. I, I wanted to see what people thought about it, and for the, I have really not received any negative commentary about this. Uh, to my knowledge, don't quote me, don't at me, but to my knowledge, because I watch a lot of YouTube, okay? To my knowledge, there is no one else doing this. And that is end of product reviews. So we see reviews where people have used them a few times. We have wear test reviews, um, first impressions and all that stuff. But you know what we never see? The end of the product review. And that's what I'm hoping to bring to 2019 end of product reviews. This is my goal. And so no one else is doing this to my motherfucking knowledge. Don't at me. Don't quote me. Do not send me a message on Twitter saying that Julia Picard, uh, who has 13 subscribers on YouTube, is doing this. I don't, bitch, I don't know. I so anyway, let's jump right into it. As you guys have probably guessed from the title of this motherfucking video, you, uh, as you guys probably guessed from the title of this motherfucking video, I am going to be doing the makeup revolution. Makeup revolution, conceal and define concealer. You guys have seen this all over my channel. You've seen it all over my Instagram. I've used this a whole bunch, literally a lot, like all the, all the much. I think this is the shortest amount of time that I have ever owned a concealer. Uh, I bought this, I want to say in October uh, of 2018, and here in January of 2019, uh, I'm at the very last use. There's one more use in here, and I know that, like, and if I really pushed it, I might get uh, two uses out of it, but like, I'd have to combine it with another concealer. Um, so there's one single use left in here, and I, I have rolled through this, so much makeup was done with this, and I've used a shit ton of this, and I, this is the first time that I've used a concealer and really, really loved it, to the point where I used it consistently without using a different concealer to, like, change it up a little bit, you know, just a little bit. I like to use different products for faces, because I just, I don't know, I like to change things up a lot. It looks like this. It has the very large doe foot applicator, just like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And it comes in this lovely kind of rosy gold kind of packaging. And you can see right into it and see the product and where you're starting to lose product and how basically if you're about to run out. So I've used this concealer with a very large combination of primers, when I use primer, I don't use primer all the time, but I've used different primers, different foundations, and different setting powders all with it, and I have not had any problems. I don't have under eye creasing at all with this. 
It plays nicely with literally every foundation except for the Urban Decay foundation. But I have thoughts and feelings about Urban Decay foundation right now and you guys will find out about that when I get to the end of that product. It plays nicely with literally everything. Um, the primers, it, I haven't had any problems with that. Uh, I love the color. It comes in like 30 different shades, which is really, really quite nice. I love the shade range. It blends smoothly. It doesn't dry down very quickly. Like it, it, it dries down with just enough time, I feel. I feel like it's like a really good dry time. I feel like it's a really good blendability. Um, and I really just, I really want this again. So I'm really upset that I'm at the end. So without further ado, let's get into the final viewing on my channel of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. First things first, I'm going to prep my skin using the Burt's Bees Anti-Acne Toner and Moisturizer just so that my skin is nice and hydrated and ready to go so I won't get any acne from this, and yeah. Next, I'm going to dive in using the e.l.f. foundation. This is the Flawless Finish Foundation. It's a matte foundation, and I'm just going to apply this to the whole face. Very light coverage of it, not just one pump. I'm not trying to do a heavy coverage of this. So it's really trying to show off the concealer for you guys. I'm going to apply this right underneath of the eye. In order to get this like, in order to get this product out, I literally have to like close it and twist it all the way shut. Uh, just to get like more product on it. Trust, I'm reaching for the end of this bottle. And uh, that's kind of the end of it. And I'm going to dip into the CoverGirl this is a CoverGirl setting powder, and I'm just going to gently apply this to all of my concealers just to set them. Next, I'm going to go in with the NYX Cosmetics Contouring Palette. I'm just going to swipe on those four real quick. Next, I'm going to jump into a Morphe palette, and this is a blush palette. Just going to take two colors right here like that. Next, we're going to jump into the Norvina palette and just lay down a little bit of base first. Then I'm going to take a little bit of eccentric and just put that right into the right above my crease. I'm going to take a little bit of love and just put that on the lower lash line and just kind of smoke it in. That looks so nice. What the heck? I'm not going to be wearing any eyeliner today because I just don't feel like it. You know, some days I just don't feel like wearing eyeliner. For mascara, I'm going to be using the They're Real by Benefit. For eyebrows, I almost always use my Forever Magic Cosmetics Brow Pomade, but I think today I'm going to use this NYX Cosmetics Brow Mascara. Because I don't know, I'm just kind of feeling a little bit more of a natural brow vibe today. Before I move on to highlighter, I'm going to set my face a little bit with the Make It Last by Milani. I think this just... Uh, I like to marry the all the other powders together before I apply my highlighter, which is going to be the Too Faced to Diamond Light. Um, and actually, the whole highlighting with your face set with setting powder is actually something I picked up from watching James Charles. Don't add him. But I did, I, I did notice that he does that while watching some of his shows. I don't watch his channel very often. But, you know, I watch everyone's channels. Even people I don't know or don't like. Not saying I dislike James Charles. <laughs> Gonna give my face one more little set. Has anyone else used this, the Milani Make It Last? This smells so nice. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. It smells like, like rose water. It's so good. I haven't really tested out the like effects of like of its setting ability, but it smells great. <laughs> and last thing I'm gonna put on is lipstick and that's gonna be this Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in the shade 1995. I haven't even used this yet. As you're seeing, it's coming right out of the box. 
I used a, I did use a Gerard Cosmetics lipstick the other day on Instagram for one of my looks, um, but that was the color Share. I haven't even used this one yet. Oh, this is a really nice color. It looks really good on my, like with my natural lip color. It's very, very close, but like a little bit more brown, almost like a terracotta color. So the final thoughts for the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Liquid Concealer is I would definitely buy this again. I love the performance of it. I love the way it looks under the eye. And I love the fact that it is long lasting, can last through drag shows, which is like sweating, dancing, people throwing beer on you. Lasts just fine, doesn't crease, doesn't get cakey, doesn't dry out very easily, feels very lightweight under the eye, but has a nice thick full coverage to it. So I would definitely buy it again. I'm debating buying it again because I need to buy other other concealers so that I can continue to do these reviews, but I really want to buy this again. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Tell me, have you used this concealer? Do you want to use this concealer now? What do you guys think about this? Tell me your thoughts on this all down below. And make sure you guys have a great 2019 and see you guys in the next one. Bye.